What's up everybody? It's Paul from Boosted Films and in this video I'm going to show you how to change out this Evo clutch pedal bushing and this is an OEM bushing and this is actually pretty cheap which is a surprise because OEM parts are usually pretty dang expensive. So what I'm gonna do in this video is uh, show you guys how I swapped out this OEM clutch pedal bushing in my Evo 8. <laughs> First, I'm going to start with this pedal diagram from the OEM owner's manual, just because it's kind of hard to see where everything is uh, when you're working under the dash for this. And also because I want to point out uh, some of the OEM part numbers for this stuff, just in case that's the reason you're watching this video. So the bushing we're going to change is not really pointed out on this diagram uh, right now, but I'm going to put the red arrow right here just to show you what kind of where that bushing is that we're going to replace. And next, I'm going to give you some OEM part numbers. So if you're looking for these items, you can fi find them. Uh, first, of course, this bushing that we're installing today, the part number is currently up on the screen here. Again, it's not actually numbered in the, the diagram they're showing you. But then here are three other part numbers you might find useful in case you lost something while trying to do this or in case you're just rebuilding an Evo. The three part numbers kind of make up the one piece I'm holding in my hand. So if you order just that clevis pin, for example, I don't believe it would come with the wave washer or the O-ring gasket. And what they call the snap pin number six on the diagram here. Here's the part number for that. This one's certainly easy to lose by mistake, so you might uh, need one of these. It's kind of the same as a brake booster pin, I believe. And finally, because we're going to do it in this video uh, and for convenience, I'm also going to show you the OEM pedal pad part number. So you can get a new uh, brake pedal or clutch pedal pad if you wanted to replace yours. So let's get started. Uh, we're going to have to open up our driver's side door, move her seat back. You're going to have to, you know, lay on your back, uh, stick your head underneath the dash down by your pedals to do this job. That's kind of the worst part about it. The job's not really hard. It's just tough to get in there and again also tough to like film and show you everything here is the clutch pedal i just wanted to show a little bit before and after and uh give you guys a a, a good idea of kind of the little bit of play that i had and how these bushings can kind of wear out so here's the tight shot of kind of showing you the, the play before and then i'm going to cut to a shot of the play after i know i didn't film it exactly the same but you can kind of tell it took a bit of the slop out because now it's certainly not wiggling as much without actually moving um you know that that cylinder to push the clutch in and here you can see there's actually build up you can see this black part here where it's kind of built up where i cut back to before i changed the bushing and i think that's parts of the bushing like i think that bushing just gets worn down over time and you can see this black stuff is just kind of uh the result so now uh, on the left side, again, uh, from this camera angle, harder to see, but there's that pin, the snap pin that will need to be removed. You might be able to just grab your uh, hands up there and get, you know, squeeze it with the fingers to pull it out. Otherwise, uh, you can utilize a needle nose pliers um, like I did, and then you should be able to get up in there and just pull that pin. Uh, so again, make sure you don't lose it, but go ahead and pull that pin out. Next is the other pin. They call it the clevis pin or something like that. Uh, so we just got to push that out. It should push out pretty easily, but you're going to want to pull that out. And then again, just take a look, inspect it, make sure it doesn't look super worn down. Mine looked a little more worn on one side than the other, which isn't too surprising, uh, but it was nothing to be concerned about. So I just, of course, put my the old one back in. Now here's the actual bushing part that we're going to change. This is stuck in there pretty good. Uh, you probably won't just be able to push it out with just your fingers. Although I think I did push it out with just my fingers and my silver car, now I'm thinking about it. Um, but with this one, it was a little bit trickier. I did utilize a screwdriver to kind of get it started. And of course, now you can see I just kind of pulled it out with my fingers the rest of the way. Uh, but you should be able to just pull it out. Next, uh, again, the new one, comparing the old one to the new one, I just want to make sure they did look right, kind of looking at how far, you know, this one did wear down. It wasn't, uh, you know, too bad, really, especially compared to my Silver Evo. Here you can see the Silver Evo literally just had a chunk missing out of it. Um, so I was certainly glad I changed it on that car. Of course, we're just going to check, make sure it looks the same. Uh, real quickly though, I do want to say if your car's having like shifting, actual shifting issues or clutch engagement issues, I don't think this is going to fix it for you, but this is just kind of a nice thing that I think is worth doing um, if you just kind of want to kind of in improve the pedal feel a little bit on your Evo. And I know I did these in the beginning, but uh, again, just a real quick showing you these, these other pieces that you might need once we go to put this back together. So of course that's what we need to do now. Now we need to go back under uh, the dash and we're gonna uh, take our new bushing and just slide it in from the other side. 
You should be able to move uh, that piece out of the way to give you a bit more room. Uh, get it started with your finger. Uh, try to keep it straight. Uh, make sure it's going in straight. Of course, you don't want it going in crooked. And then, um, again, hard to film down here too. So I didn't actually show, you know, getting it sliding in all the way. I don't think I could slide it in all the way super easy with my fingers. I think I utilized something to give me a little bit more force to kind of push it in that final, the final portion of it, I should say, so that it was completely flat. Uh, so that's what uh, you can see now uh, that it's in all the way. So this is what it looks like when it's in all the way, kind of from this right side of the pedal. And now I snuck my camera up in here to give you a little better shot from the other side. Uh, and you can just see again, it's sitting pretty much flush in there. Uh, so there's that lip on this edge, but um, it should feel pretty much flush. And we're going to line this back up, of course. Uh, we're going to have to line it back up and put this uh, other larger, what they call, clevis pin back in place. So that's what we're going to do here. Just line things up and then push it in. Easier said than done. And again, if you're doing this um, and you're like, man, it sucks to get in there, just think about how much fun it is to try and film it so you can show people how to do it. So now with this other uh, pin on the other side, uh, this, I kind of recommend that you just try to get it started with your fingers first. And then you, and once you know it's kind of held in place, you should then be able to utilize uh, something like a, a pliers or something else to kind of get a little more force on it to push it in. Now, unfortunately, I didn't actually show this again because it's very hard to see what the heck you're doing, um, let alone film it when it comes to that left side of the clutch pedal. And as you saw earlier, I also want to go ahead and change my clutch pedal pad while I'm down here because why not? Uh, another reasonably priced OEM piece. Uh, so again, here's that new pad and part number. And this is really just kind of a pull off uh, kind of thing. I use the pliers to help me get a little bit more grip. You might not have to do that. Uh, your old clutch pad might be totally gone actually like my silver car was. Um, but uh, this one was a little bit ripped before I I took it off, but as you can see here, you can see how it kind of just wraps around the, the back of the pedal. So here's the old and the new, uh, a little bit worn, not the worst, but you know, this car does have 100 and almost 150,000 miles on it. So I assume no one's changed that pad before. It is a little harder to get on the new pad than it probably will be to take off the old one. But as you can see here, you just kind of need to watch uh, to make sure that lip gets around uh, the outside edges. I started from the top and worked my way down. Again, you could probably also utilize something like a needle nose pliers or some other uh, tool to give you a little bit more grip if uh, just pulling it on is your issue. So there we go. We got our nice new uh, pedal pad. I don't know. I feel like I should probably change the brake one too now just so they match. I'll give you a, a shot from behind just so you can see what that looks like. Make sure it's wrapped around all the way. But go ahead, test your clutch. I would just test it, make sure, you know, you shouldn't have changed much of anything, um, but uh, just test it though and make sure it works good and uh, you should be pretty much all set. And I mentioned it during the video, but it's probably worth repeating that I wouldn't expect changing this bushing to fix a shifting issue. It's probably more of a nicety, something to do just to try to, try to help your pedal feel a little bit so you have a little bit less play. The main reason I did this is because in my silver Evo, I noticed it had more play than my black Evo. Um, so it's probably just worth, worth checking and um, swapping out since it's not too hard to do. But what do I know? I'm just a guy on YouTube that likes to document what he does. So of course, if you think I did something wrong or if you think there's a better way to do it, or if you have some comments you know, that can be helpful to the Evo community, I'd appreciate it if you leave a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, if this video did help you out, you know, thumbs up, whatever they're still doing nowadays and commenting about that is good as well. I know I have a good following of Evo enthusiasts, so I always appreciate when you guys comment and let me know things to help you out. But as always, this is Paul from Boosted Films saying thanks so much for watching. I just want to say that domestic violence is never okay. If you or someone you know is experiencing issues with a partner and doesn't feel safe, please visit the website thehotline.org or call 1-800-799-SAFE.